Christmas Eve, so I'm starting this vlog in the beautiful Sands End in Whitby. If you are northern, you may know this place, but I basically grew up coming to the beach in Whitby and it's our first Christmas without my grandma and we actually popped her ashes in the sea here. Don't want to make this more but it's like a it's like a nice thing. So by coming here it means that we get to be with her for Christmas. So I'm gonna walk along the beach. I used to get in a dinghy, genuinely, and go on this little bit. This is the best little bit to go on, actually. Maple likes it, and then it's connected into the sea over there. And this was like a cafe that we used to go to. It's really funny being back to my and I for years would come here. It's so cute with all the little cottages and stream running through and we've been so lucky with the blue skies so we're checking into a hotel today it's the first time as a family we've ever stayed at a hotel over christmas time actually but we're doing it so we feel like we're closer to my nana so we're gonna keep walking and enjoying and then check in it reminds me of miss honey's cottage and matilda maple wants to go to the cottage Oh, he's a good guy. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. Yes, Cause you left something for me. Under the Christmas tree. This is our home for Christmas. You know the fact that it says M? <laughs> but how cute is this? And it comes with a little thing saying, the marmalade is homemade by our chef using oranges that are a waste product from Whitby Gin, who use them when producing the excellent Prince of Darkness gin. The bulbs are potted up by our head grower in organic compost using dye pots, durable, biodegradable, alternative to plastic pots. And then they put vodka, mince pies, and a chocolate block stirrer. Oh my gosh, this is so thoughtful. This is the room, nice and cosy, and even a bouquet chair. So they knew I was coming. So I don't know if I said, but my whole family are staying at a hotel in a place called Whitby. So we've been on a lovely walk, had some canapes and some lovely drinks. Now we're heading to the spa. Just got out of the spa. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. I'm trying not to use sauna steam rooms, first little problem I know, because every time I do, I keep getting really bad visual migraines. So I went to Soho Farmhouse a few weeks ago with my mum, went for a swim, gym, totally fine, then went in the sauna steam. Even though I had like a litre of water, I completely lost all my vision. And it's really scary, it's happened to me twice now when I've been in the sauna steam, so I don't know, does anyone get that? But I just had a lovely swim, I swam for an hour with my auntie. My auntie actually has alopecia, and it's the first time she's taken her swimming cap off in public, so she felt amazing and liberated and looked absolutely gorgeous. So I had a lovely swim, and now I'm just gonna do some work and then get ready because we have carol singers and Christmas dinner tonight. It's weird being in a hotel for Christmas. It's, like I say, the first time my family have done a hotel over actual Christmas day. It's gonna be weird waking up tomorrow, and Matt's not with me probably seen that on the vlog Matt's not with me because he's with his family they both live in different parts of England so I think until we're engaged or married <laughs> we're probably not gonna both families but comment below and let me know do you see your partner boyfriend on Christmas girlfriend or do you go separate ways I don't know we're at that awkward life stage where we live together but we don't spend Christmas together but I feel like everyone else does apart from us so anyway it was nice to have that swim and I'm gonna go do Got some my work. sparkles out ready to wear I have just finished up editing vlog and I thought oh my goodness am I gonna look stupid and then I thought no if there's one time you can dress up it's Christmas so I'm going to wear the sparkles I'm running late because I have been too busy editing my vlog and working <laughs> but now I'm gonna be late for dinner so I'm just gonna really quickly go over my makeup go over the makeup that I had on earlier 
for Christmas Day tomorrow, because it's Christmas Eve right now, I'm going to make sure that this is better. <laughs> I'll do a better job. So that was a Clinique concealer, and this is a Lancome brush. She says, oh, I'm running really late, and then proceeds to vlog the makeup going on. This is a Vici foundation. I'm literally livid, because apparently, I mean, that one's hit pan. Apparently, they're discontinuing that. Givenchy powder beauty pie brush. I've said this in my last vlog. Oh no, that is Givenchy blush. We do not want to go in with the blush yet. Givenchy powder and um, beauty pie brush. I said this in my last few vlogs. This brush is honestly so good. You need to buy it. I've had it since the summer and it's just oh, it's amazing. And I do have a promo code. And sent me if you want to save some money on a membership at Beach Pie. It's amazing. I don't even need to tell you how good it is because their products are just such high quality. Then we have a Clinique bronzer. I love how well used my products are. It means I love them. If it's well used, it means I love it, love it. This Dior blush is just incredible. I literally love it. It's just like a coral colour. You should use a Clinique one, but I've run out. So onto this one it is. And then again, in with the beauty pie brush. This Estee Lauder. I like Huda Beauty and Charlotte Tilbury lip liners as well, but I've actually <laughs> lost my pens, my sharpener for them. So I've just been lazy and just chose a new one that I had in my bag. But I have like five really good <laughs> ones that I just need to sharpen. I need to just like order one on. Amazon or something. I'm really quickly going with a Tilbury palette. I'll link everything I'm talking about below. I mean, I always do. I don't know if people check description boxes. Comment. Let me know. Do you check description boxes? Um, also, when you're watching this, I hope you had a lovely Christmas Eve. I'm not going to lie. It feels quite lonely without Matt. Part of me is like, oh, we never do Christmas together. It's nice for us to both go our separate ways, but would be quite nice to have all those together actually because my brother's here with his girlfriend and, oh that was a Tilbury lipstick and I'm just here this single one which is fine because Matt's usually around I'm lucky <laughs> but it's just weird not having her here when I live with him okay that is a Huda Beauty gloss gosh I love Huda Beauty flaming baby okay and the mascara is Ilia, which is an amazing American brand that I discovered this year. Absolutely stunning, stunning products. And this mascara is great. Like I say, I was just going over the makeup that I already had on. So, you know, we're not working miracles here. I'm really hoping I can get away with having to style my hair. This is like a, I've just been in the pool, chic. What do we think? Can I get away with it? Or... Do I have to put some more curls? I know it's Christmas Eve. For Christmas Day, I'm gonna go, go ham. Okay, I'm gonna just change into the dress and then head downstairs. Tell me it's Christmas Eve without telling me it's Christmas Eve. I'm dressed as a little sparkly firework, tinsel, whatever you want to call it. But down to dinner we go. We always go out for dinner for Christmas Eve. It's a tradition in our family. We've been doing it since I was two days old. And my grandma always hosted it. So it was very, very, very special. I just reminded me I need to put my necklace on. So yeah, we always go out on Christmas Eve as a family. It's been a tradition since way before I was born. But I've been attending since I was two years old, can you believe? And we've done it every single year, obviously, apart from the pand, pand, pandy, pandy D whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't know if this is just a new tradition that we're set doing, where we're gonna go away for Christmas every year. Let's see how this year goes. And then it's up to Mama Bear to decide. Nana is with me in spirit. Okay, let's go. That was a lot of talking. The family to enjoy. Love it. Some fizz. Look, are these meant to be Christmas trees? Yeah, they're they're yeah, so cute. Cheers. Cheers, Denise. Cheers, would Denise Robert. have had water or would she have had Prosecco? Gin. She would. She would have had gin. <laughs> no,
Hot chocolate by the fire. waking up on Christmas morning in a hotel. I feel so privileged, so amazing that my mom booked this hotel for us. Like I say, she booked it because it's the closest we can be to my grandma and it's as if we're with my nana. So it's really nice. We are on the beach. So I started my morning with a swim. I mean, I can't believe I got to go for a swim on Christmas day. That just, something's exercise that I'm really trying to add into my routine when I can and I just love it. It was like therapy, it was so therapeutic. So I did a sauna and steam, only five minutes in each because I didn't want to give myself a migraine and run the risk, but oh, it just felt like therapy. It felt like meditation. I had the entire pool to myself and I just was swimming and I was like, I am so blessed. I am so grateful, it was amazing. So I'm just gonna quickly sort myself out and then head down to have some breakfast with the family and then head for a beach walk as my mom says to go and see my nana so that is the plan okay i just moisturized my entire body with this it is amazing i know i said it earlier but i do have a promo code i'll link everything below but oh my gosh it was just like the most luxurious body cream that was such a nice christmas treat to myself to use on my body seeing as i just did my skincare i thought i'd show you some stuff that came with me very quickly because i love skincare Elemis Cleansing Balm, it's such a goodie. These are Eve Lom, and these are actually cleansing capsules. How cool is that? Red can. I just got this when I stayed at Soho House. We've got this, which has just been used. Clinique eye cream all about the eyes, super hydrating, which I need. We've got Jo Malone mini perfume. I love mini perfumes. I take this every morning. I've got all of my vitamins and minerals an Eve Lom lip balm, which I really need right now. And then an MZ Skin Gold Eye Mask, which I'm very excited about. Of course, I've got a retinol anti-wrinkle eye cream from Beauty Pie with me. And I've got some little capsules with me. Speaking of capsules, I've got my vitamins with me. We've got some magnesium, some Vita Glow hair growth, some Solga vitamins. And I'm just excited. Love taking my multivits every morning. And this baby, a hydrating rescue mist, which is much needed. Good morning. Good morning, sausage. Good morning. Good morning, sausage. You got a little Santa on. Gorgeous girl. <laughs> Oh, she's gonna get jealous. Oh, hook me, hook me. What about me? What about me? Are you happy now? Morning breakfast. Oh, we got some apricot jam. That sounds amazing. Pastries. Ah, oh, they have Alpro. We love to see it. Cereals. Fruit. Merry Christmas! The king has arrived. <laughs> Oh, we both want to see you. <laughs> Don't jump on Graham. He's so excited to see us. How did you sleep? So I got my mum this card and I just need to write an extra present in there for her. Okay, breakfast was great, but I definitely ate too much. I had two bowls of cereals and some pancakes. Just popping some. Eight hour cream on my lips because it's cold out there and I need to pace myself <laughs> because I'm gonna have a lot of lovely yummy Christmas food today so wearing my Christmas and Mickey top not gonna pop makeup on 
because I'm probably gonna go back into the spa later. Such a privilege I get to do that. But I'm gonna put my nice warm coat on and head down to the beach now for a family walk. Come to pick my mum up. She's staying in this little castle building. Christmas princess is here. Bye. Mates, look at you being a good girl. <laughs> the tree in here is so nice as well. Aren't you such a good girl? You look exhausted. Foxy tail. <laughs> yeah, I know. You look like a foxy tail. Who's a good girl? Sit. Oh. <laughs> good girl. Good girl, thank you. Three, two, one. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a bad throw. So bad at dropping the frisbee. She loves it. <laughs> Go to the city. <laughs> Come on, good girl. Yay. Ready and woo! Good girl! Look at the wind in your hair! Hotel. Beautiful grounds. Okay, back from the walk and I just really quickly went and popped my face under the sauna steam <laughs> because it's not feeling the happiest my skin today. So how amazing that there's a sauna and steam room to use on Christmas. I'm just like beyond grateful and the sun has come out, the walk was amazing, my pancakes were amazing, feeling so lucky to wake up with my family in a hotel. Okay, so Matt got me these for my birthday and then I, I brought these I also got for my birthday but we're doing kind of present opening at home tomorrow on Boxing Day. We're staying here for two nights, however, so we're gonna wake up here on Boxing Day as well. However, I did give everyone their sacks, as I said, so this is mine. This is what the sacks looks like, and we're gonna keep them every single year now, so making new traditions. We're staying at breakfast, my grandma used to always give us all a hamper every Christmas with stuff she collected throughout the year, so I got everyone these made and did the same. I have my own presents inside the tie bought myself and some that Emily got me actually. There's some Tonys in here and because Matt's not here I might have to eat the Tonys to myself and then wait for it. Grand Prix top trumps cards because I love Charles Leclerc and Daniel Ricciardo and then I actually bought myself some of this because I love the smell. When I go to Soho Farmhouse the smell of the comforting diffuser is amazing. I'll link it below. Oh my gosh and then Emily and I went to Lush and I was telling her that this is like my favourite scent and it's like a massage bar. Mm. And she got me one. So I do have one big box with me because Matt was like, you have to bring it. You have to bring it. So I brought a box that Matt got me. This was a very lovely gift from Larizia, which is, oh my gosh, stunning. Cannot wait to wear this over the coming months. You guys know I love coach bags. And I'd already opened this, but I brought it with me because I was like, oh, such a nice little gift. This is from Matt and I'm very excited about this. He told me to FaceTime him and open it with him. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. Wow. A nice Gucci tote bag. How? That's 
festive and incredible is that? So I actually, from some purchases I made via Gucci, have some of these in my travel bag right now and I use it to put like laundry, toiletries, it's really good for like sorting out your suitcase, that is amazing. Very happy about that. Lots of love, Matt. So my hair's not playing ball, so it's into a low bun, wearing this dress, and it is time to head down and have Christmas dinner. So excited, Christmas lunch is my favorite thing, roast dinner, and apparently they do do Yorkshire puddings because we're in Yorkshire, so can't wait. Is that I got my mum for Christmas, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, so Those we love don't go away, they walk beside us every day. How cute. Hi. Naples on there. He's eager. He's eager. <laughs> there you go, Grants. story and her love. And we are in the last. Oh, good. And they sent a lovely asking us to raise a glass for us. <laughs> and I can't get think of a more fitting memory. Get here. Um, knowing that we're all suffering as a result of losing her, I hope it gives you all some comfort knowing that her mm -hmm. is going to be proudly on the side of the Whitby Life. Absolutely. How amazing. Oh, and even the people at our NLI said they might see us when they're in the about it. Banana. <laughs> 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 It's turkey time. It's turkey time. Chocolate parfait. What have you got? What dessert do you always have, Granddad? Dreamy, dreamy dessert. <laughs> Cheeky grin because you've got your vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Christmas lunch was delicious. I am now back in the robe, hair on top of head. Because usually after Christmas lunch we would go for a nice walk because we would have our lunch earlier but it's really really dark outside. So my auntie was like, shall we just go into the spa? So for the third time today. I'm just gonna go and relax in the spa. I kind of wish I brought a book with me. Something I want to make more time for in 2023 is reading. So if you have any good book recommendations, please leave them below. I like things that I can learn from. So like self-care, self-help, manifesting books, business books, like The Lean Startup, anything like that I love. So if you have any books that are gonna like change my life or if there's a book that you've read that's changed your life, please tell me in the comments. That would be, that would mean so much to me. Okay, so I'm gonna just go and just relax, have a breather. I feel so lucky. Hello from my mum's bathroom. So I washed my hair, although it doesn't look any better. I feel like the humidity of the spa and stuff is just making it a little bit frizzy. Got this dress on and heading now to have a Christmas buffet. I've just been doing some work, went to spa with my auntie and my mum joined, which was really, really nice. And I was just thinking, even if no one watches this vlog, it was so nice to just vlog and watch these things back. Like. I've missed vlogging and it's nice to just have these moments to look back on. When my nana passed away, I was trawling through all my vlogs to try and find anything, even just like a tiny clip of the back of her head or hear her voice in any of the vlogs. So I'm kind of doing it for memories for me as well. But if you guys enjoy it too, then that is a bonus. So let's see what this buffet has. I mean, we're all pretty full, feeling very grateful for all this amazing food. But let's see, I plan to wear sparkles, but actually I've gone casual.
She's so tired. <laughs> she's so tired, <laughs> baby. She sits on my knee only when she's really tired. Sleepy bear. Sleepy bear. Sleepy sausage. Too much. Too much. Got into my bedroom after a lovely buffet. I ate a lot of chips. <laughs> the mince pies here are so good. That was my third one of the trip. These cushions are so nice. So I'm just gonna have a little FaceTime with Matt, tidy up and pack because tomorrow we are leaving and then it's time to have Christmas at my mum's house. But I don't know if you caught the gist on the part of the speech that I showed, but essentially my mum for Christmas as a surprise got us all a printout showing that a charity that my Nana supported the RNLI, which is the Royal National Institute of Lifeboats. And my mum has basically made a donation on our behalf, meaning that the newest lifeboat that they are currently building will have my Nana's name on it. And my Nana was a huge supporter of the charity. And it basically means that she will be out to sea saving lives, which I mean, we were crying at the table. It was very emotional. And then we got a face and call from my stepsister. Who I don't think I've ever mentioned on my vlogs, but I have a stepbrother and sister. And my stepsister got engaged in New York this week, but only told us today. So it was a whirlwind of emotions. It was like positive, amazing news and just the most special present from my mum that she'd been saving from us all, which is the lifeboat dedicated to my Nana. So the beach we're on, my Nana actually came to it a few months ago. I don't want to make this vlog morbid and I know I keep talking about her a lot and I will choke, close the chapter and go back to grooving in private yes i was gonna say in silence grieving in private after this but i just think it's important to talk about it during christmas because i know a lot of other people might be struggling and it might give you some peace to know that you're not alone but also to know that you can do you know really lovely things like the painting that i got my mom and just nice you know turn the sadness into something nice so we can now come here and know that it was my nana's favorite beach anyway i am rambling I'm going to take my makeup off and I'm going to go up nice and early in the morning because I'm going to have a nice boxing day swim. Boxing day is one of my favourite days so I'm excited for a very different boxing day tomorrow. Waking up in a lovely hotel, going for a swim with my auntie and my mum, going for a dog walk and then Christmas at mummy's house. Good night guys, Merry Christmas. Princess. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, waggy tail. Good morning. I use the spa, had some breakfast, and now my auntie's just here helping me pack <laughs> all of my stuff. Can't believe Matt got me this. My friend Josie has the coat version, and I love it. And the reversible coat sold out, and also very expensive. So now I have the scarf version. So getting ready for checkout and. Uh, Boxing day walk. Let's go. Saying goodbye to this hotel. It really hits differently sleeping by yourself in a bed, a double bed. After like seven years of sleeping with someone else, so grateful I got to wake up here. So grateful I got to go for a swim this morning. And so grateful the sun is shining. We have somehow managed to avoid all the rain. So just feeling very, very grateful. I've actually put this coat on because warmth, it's very, very icy up north outside today. But my auntie just came and helped me in my bags. Now I'm going to get the rest of the family. I think my brother's spending the rest of the day in the spa, actually. And I do not blame him for that. They gave us this potted plant, and my mum wants it, so let's go. Let us all rejoice when it's Christmas time And I hope again they In the crowded streets calling Christmas time Are you a happy fluff ball? Yes! Look at you, good girl. And from far away, we hear bells that chime, stating Santa won't be late. And deep in our hearts, Jump. Woo. it's treat time. They're coming. Look at the sunshine. So lucky. So we're just walking to Whitby. Did any of you study Dracula if you did English literature at A level at school? Because I did. And I studied Dracula, and Dracula, his grave is actually in Whitby. And the Dracula novel is written in Whitby, I believe. So we've just walked from the hotel along the beach in this incredible sunshine. 
to Whitby and yeah like I say I kind of grew up in Whitby so grew up coming here having the fish and chips going to the rock shops so it's lovely to be back hello hello cute little shop oh how nice every child for at Christmas time there is magic in the end. Got some local little presents. So this is Whitby. Look how beautiful it is and this is like the town of Whitby. There you go, you can see the views on the postcards. I put an Instagram story up asking if anyone's ever heard of Kendall Mint Cake and I just found it in a little shop and I got some rock and some nougat. Anyone else know what rock is because I grew up eating this. It's just like sugar but is it a British thing? Let me know in the comments. Guys we are home now, we didn't actually end up going all the way up to Whitby because it was a little bit further than everyone wanted to walk and we had to get back for Christmas round two today at my mum's house. So just got back to my childhood bedroom, you might remember it. So nice and cosy and I'm gonna get this vlog uploaded so you guys can catch up. I hope you have had a magical, magical Christmas. Sending you so, so, so much love. If you made it this far, comment and write Yorkshire in the comments. I'd love to see who actually made it this far. Let me know how you celebrated Christmas. I'd love to chat to you in the comments and I hope you had a good one. Don't forget to come say hi on Instagram at MichelleX. I also did just put a blog post live with all the best Boxing Day sales so you can shop from home. See, I'm working, I'm eating, I'm mixing it all together. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Merry Christmas.